with a paper cup. So this will probably be quite entertaining. Okay. Oh, and our It's of course. Are Put down your sir. weapon. You have 20 seconds to go. I'll just rain. I don't know, rain, can you hear this? Okay, I'll just take a look at how you do things. And, uh, I mostly let you do the stuff, I just take my notes, and after this, like this match, in the second match I'll just try to... So most of the game is just do it. Bam! Three stuff in the game. That's fine. Okay, so... I'll just start taking notes. Yeah, they are feeling fun. Looks like Backer's really playing to his passive style. Is he camping with an eye? He's just waiting for back. them to come down from the roof. And here we go, into the fray. Do help us. Yep, I'm going behind him. Almost got the backstab there. The hypest gameplay on the internet. <laughs> Yep, there we go, first team kill. Backstabs are instant kills, so team kills are always really quite dangerous in a knife fight. And Toth and Hooperty seem to be having it out by themselves on the roof. Oh. With Hooperty playing a recon, he'll have, of course, one HP. Less health. Well, not less health, but. We have to take less damage. Yeah, at this rate, it seems like NSF are winning a. Oh! And well, wait, wait. Little hoopty face, can he bring it back on 11 HP? Are we going to have the first clutch of the tournament right <laughs> here, right now? At 11 HP, it'll take one more hit for him to be downed. Yeah, it's about 25 damage per hit, so four, hit, four hits for anyone else except the support. We're of course playing on Tarmac, one of the most familiar maps on Neo Tokyo. Oh, we have some tactics here. Soft as hell retreating with low HP. I wonder if we'll time out before the before the teams are determined. Although at this point, yeah. NSF looks like they'll get the team pick. Yeah, whenever whenever the round reaches a tie, the people with the most players win. Or rather, when the time runs out, the people with the most the team with the most players win. Mm -hmm. Did you manage to get that second screen at work in the Yeah, um, I have it running right next to me. Yep. What are the viewers saying? I feel sorry for Jinrai from Kips2072. Uh, Baka backstabbed his buddy. We have a few people from the anti community tuning in. Shibaji, Echo. A lot of these names are people, ones I don't remember, of course. <laughs> playing heads or tails with the ghost of the <laughs> Yeah. Ever insightful red. Oh. oh. There we go. And that's a win for NSF. Yeah, soft as old team. They get to pick what team they're playing on this map. This does not count towards the score. They chose Jinrai. So we'll probably see a Reset from rain, and then we get the game started. To those okay, in the chat wondering I'm, how... Uh, Alright, you go... I've no. thrown up an overlay, so it should be working. With... Backer's team on NSF, I think. Can you see that, Afro? Is that working? Yes, it's working. Great. We can find. We are, of course, consummate professionals here at the streaming service. We've done this. <laughs> Often. So yeah, to those in the chat wondering how they can get into uh, the voice chat, this is uh, only for the commentators, Sally. I guess someone could. Some kind of yeah. This one currently is just. All right. Yeah, for Sorry the next match I could maybe there, set up a, a, uh, another uh, mumble, so or murmur rather, they... for you. So they choose Jinrai? Uh-huh. They choose Jinrai? Mm -hmm. I don't know how Baka feels about being on NSF. Normally he oh. chooses Jinrai. I yeah, that's some psychological warfare. Oh, that's true. 
like, I assume Buck is already ready. Don't use reasoning quite for choosing general all the time, but people do have uh, aesthetic preferences for the, each team. By that, he of course means that the Genrai much look a lot better than the NSF, <laughs> and that's why Baka <laughs> used them. <laughs> yeah, I personally have a preference. Oh. Yeah, this is um, the actual round. We're doing this now. The map is not going yet, by the way. People still have uh, the scores have not yet been reset. Yes. Yeah, is... Just wild rain and producer configure. There you go. We're starting. This is the um, competitive Neo Tokyo plugin that Azure made, I think. All right. So. There we go. Game on. It's going to be interesting to see what kind of tactics these guys pull out. We haven't had any good 3v3 matches on this map yet. Yeah. Well, Maruma's gone straight up to Skybridge and has met no one. He seems to be playing passively without rushing across as recon. What usually tends to happen in the bigger games is that you cut the da map down the middle, so... People cover their end of all the entrances to the hangar and the sky bridge, etc. And then you try to sort of push them out and pivot around. I don't think so. It's kind of like a huge choke point. So yeah, look at this closely because this is probably what we're going to be seeing a lot during this tournament. Each team has two assaults and two recons. Not two recons, two assaults and one recon, which kind of makes sense. Hmm. But I'm not sure how effective the recons will be in passive play. Little Hooper yeah. to face now moving through the courtyard, not making an advance onto Tarmac. Not sure what they're doing. Soft as hell is currently scoping out the basement. Don't go alone. In any straight fight, a recon is severely undermatched unless they get a flank or use their movement to their advantage. So, unless the recons can do that, of the hangar entrance, they're probably going to be at a disadvantage. Just looks like a the assault. Okay, so pushed all the way up to the other end, Skybridge, and he's now watching the tower at top of the stairs. That's a good flanking position he has. We'll see if he can capitalize on it. And Back has also moved in to the midfield as well. But the entire Jinrai team is now moving through basement, potentially behind the NSF team without them even realizing. Are we going to have a side switch without anyone firing their guns? <laughs> they seem like to be it. pushing out into the hangar, so... That's uh, to the NSF's advantage though, because then they have a, a somewhat clear shot at the cap zone, should they realize what's going on. Yeah, little Hoopity face is now falling back to the basement stairs on his side, but oh, he right. decided to check it. They are on the ground. No, Baka's right. taking the ghost. Uh, the... At... No, they are all on the ground, so... Go Realizing outside. Like oh, no, going going upstairs back. now. Red. Ooh, yeah, and we, we have the engagement. first shots fired. Oh, yeah. two targets upstairs. Soft as hell versus red in the... They are right. on the street now. On the tarmac, lower tarmac. No one's hurt yet. Oh, here we go. Red, Lincoln. Oh, that oh. was a keen rush by little Hoopty face. And now red's down oh, as well. A daring attempt, but he jumped straight into them, all three of them. Now Hangar's left al alone. By yeah, Buck has to pull something out here. He's retreating at the moment. He's armed only with his Tachi at the moment. I think he tried to go back for his rifle, which is probably despawned. And Jinrai win the first round. That was a really quick engagement there. Nothing much happened until the very last few seconds. Yeah, it's that's, the game focuses so much on positioning that it makes sense that you wait until you feel secure in assaulting. I think that was NSF's downfall here. They attacked into a really strong position from Jinrai. So that's 1-0 to Jinrai. I'm gonna tab out a bit to just post the announcement that the game is actually going. So here we go. Skybridge, Toth are going straight down to the basement. Already. Watch out. Soft as hell watching the courtyard. Those windows can actually be fired through in some small areas, usually the grey um, linings around them. But for the most part, 
they're impenetrable. So him looking through there, he's mostly safe. Jin, otherwise known as Marumo, is currently watching the sky bridge, close onto the NSF side. Red's moving up to the sky bridge now, taking it very carefully. He has the advantage of being an assault, and plus he has a ZL silence. But Jin's rate of fire with the SRM dispatches him quickly, and he takes quite a bit of damage. 65 damage, but he's heading quickly through the basement. Oh boy. And here we have the majority of the Jinrai team in the basement right now. Inside the like bathroom, back just sitting around. I'm just gonna see if I can get one coming in. So little hoopty faces at the basement stairs, moving, moving down. Downstairs. You want to find one? Quite a death trap. He takes Probably hits. Probably doesn't get downstairs. Fuck that shit. He hurt me. So now the NSF team are aware of enemies in the basement. Fuck. Ah, uh, looks like somebody in the hiding hole. Northwest. All right, I'm back in the game, ready to commentate. Go for it. Um, the NSF team has taken one hit already of red. Jin killed him, and now he has no, five HP remaining. Yeah, we also have a wounded recon in the hiding hole. Their little hoopty face at only forty. Yeah. So I'm both teams' recons here. are at similar health right now. But soft as hell has decided to play very passively and just take the basement, hold They're it down, really and wait for down. its time out. But the NSF team are aware of their position. The thing is though, with the rules set up as they are, uh, tying is greatly powerful for the winning team because it cuts down the amount of rounds still remaining. Uh, so we're only going to play 13 rounds and a tie counts to that limit. Yeah. I'm not sure if you think A... We Deliberate position, maybe but the go for the Jinrai ghost team have and do carefully ghost, yeah. placed Jin in between Soft the and Totha. So He's recon like with the lowest health he needs protecting. Yeah, I'd imagine that's true. The fact that he was a recon and hurt. The problem was that in that position they had left the ghost unguarded. The NSF didn't push out, which was their downfall. But the NSF could have done something with the ghost there, seeing as what else was out in the open. Could have forced the enemies to move or something like that. Got a message from Remy telling me my voice so is sick sexy. Together. Not quite sure how to feel about this. Thank you, Remy. Love you. <laughs> yeah, shout outs to people who like our voices. Yeah, shout out to Remy. Love you lots. You're a scroll, mouse scroll, link, faggot. No, I'm kidding. Sick romancer in chat demands karaoke. We'll see about that later. <laughs> Two NSFs straight across the sky bridge, beginning of the match, not messing around. Yeah, one recon crossing over the roof. But Jin's got hold of the ghost and pushing through basement it's again. Right in the wall next to me. It's not often you yeah. get basement played this much in a normal match, but in this 3v3 it seems greatly useful. As a defensive position, the basement is probably the best area on the map, but since there are only two entrances to it that you can lock down. Looks like he's in the basement. And the uh, Jinrai are probably going to be focusing on defensive play. Given that they have two wins so far, we're gonna have to go down here then. So, little hoopty face is heading down to basement. Got right there. Uh, he heard the cloak yeah, they're pulled right out. Down there. Red had his grenade primed for a second then. Go back some. Yeah, they know they're there. And this round, the ghost is actually in the basement, which means that the NSF cannot use it. Go oh, the Jinrai have actually picked it up. Red threw a grenade down, right. but no dice. He may have been better off throwing it against the wall on the far, far side, but he decided to gently let it down the stairs. Backer also too keening with his grenade. Try to fling them. It seems the people want to see what Baka is doing in the chat. <laughs> yeah, That's Baka, you a could first. Actually hit people spectating Baka. <laughs> <laughs> he is playing rather more aggressively than he normally does. Yeah. Because in this map he can't use his friends as a blade of armor, I suppose. Backer pushes down. There's an engagement in the basement. 
Toth has seen Backer and he's firing back. And yeah, they know we're back at it. Oh, it's high red, up again. Has Red flanked through the other side? Yeah, Red flanked through the other side and dispatched Soft as well. Yeah, they have a really powerful position now since the Genoa aren't covering the doors as well as they could be. Red pushes him further, pushes for a kill. Oh. He gets one. The first NSF oh. lead of the day. Yes, oh, there we and go. They close it out. 2 1. Yay! Baka shows some emotions. <laughs> that was some great play by Red and Hoopty. And Jin didn't stand a chance with the staple yeah. gun. I think uh, Baka and Red cleaned it up perfectly the way they did it. So it's 2 1 now. Could the NSF be looking for a comeback? <laughs> well, I hope so. I don't think it's a comeback at this point. Where's my team? It seems as if Baka is missing a player. Yeah, a little hoopty face has not respawned yet. Oh, there he comes. And now he's back. He's yeah, he's in the game. To, yeah, he's decided to pick Assault this time instead of Recon. Assault with the Jitty, which is a, an unconventional choice for assaults. The CR Silence is usually considered to be the best first weapon. He's remaining AFK though, so there's no guarantees that he's still in the game yet. Hope it's you are standing there, the watching up. Or... I'm not sure how the judges will handle a, p a person disconnecting from the game. We never really considered someone just going AFK in the middle of a round. Well, I assume he wasn't isn't going AFK. I hope he is nice enough to have have some troubles of some sort for that to happen. But there we have the first engagement. Red takes out Jin, more successfully this time. I don't know if uh, the uh, Jin Y team have realized that uh, one of the enemy players are AFK. One target is on staircase below the bridge. They said going upstairs on the bridge. Uh, Soft as hell might be able to shoot him from here. Well, it's however, assault. with the AFK, he's on the roof. They side. Uh, close to you, team. Red. Close to you. Very close. Yeah. Of course, the and NSF the team will still win need. if this goes to tie because the AFK player counts. Oh, he's taking fire now. From the server room. Oh. Little hoopty face will die now. No. Soft as hell took down backer from the roof. Yeah, both NSF players are down, so this is going to be a Jinwei win. And, that puts and we have a three one. We have a message from the ref saying, "Don't worry, we got this. We got it all solved quite fast." He just had a spike for some reason, apparently. So let's have a quick check at the score. Red, don't go forward. Soft as hell, going to set eight one strong player. Red leading the NSF team. Sorry about that. Five three, but he's died three times, but he's had the kills to back that up. So only Hoopty is now not a corporal. The corporal being quite powerful for recon yeah. since they get a assortment of silenced weapons at that rank. For uh, most assaults, doesn't really matter. You can get a shotgun, which Baka is playing with in the basement. The good take over. A prominent weapon you'll probably see in this tournament is the ZR Silenced. Recent research by Rain Industries has found out that the ZR Silenced does, in fact, do more damage than the How ZR many Carbine. The ZR Carbine being the unsilenced version of the ZR Rifle. Yeah. Yeah. Little Hoopity Face moved into the hangar oh, and was shot down by Totha. The Jinrai team are keeping an eye on the tarmac, not particularly pushing in. Soft as hell, using the silenced M41, hopefully, with the intention to take down enemies at range. Yeah, he's covering the sky bridge and the roof well with that, from a pretty secure position. And we can see here Red and his team captain Backer have held down the ghost in the basement. One thing we've noticed so far during these games is that little hoopty face have given the NSF a one player disadvantage. First round by dying and this round by dying earlier than his team. 
which gives the Genoa you know, a powerful position to play from later in the game. Back the yeah. full back to the this storm face seems there. like a newer player, so maybe not quite as experienced as his teammates. What a coward! Backer, classic backer, labeling other players cowards. <laughs> <laughs> They're always cowards. If they attack, they're cowards. If they defend, okay, they are, of course, cowards. These 40 meters, uh, probably he's behind the crate. Behind the crate. Uh, on the right side. Jin has actually right chosen side. to uh, play the, support this round, which here, the not. NSF team ah, might not grenade. anticipate it. I think uh, the Jinwai team realized that the recon matchup isn't that good for this map unless yeah, you're planning to do something with it. Yeah. Yes, another target upstairs. Directly. The support, of course, having heat vision, which lights up everyone like a Christmas tree if they're not using their cloak. Yeah. So in that that grenade almost hitting. Jin had an advantage over Red because of the thermal. Red tried peeking around without being close. Interestingly, Jinrai are not doing any sort of flanks. They and seem to be secure in the enemies cool. being by the ghost. And there we go. The NSF not able to do anything there before time runs out. Is that a rank up for him? Nope. Still standing at five corporals and one private. Okay, maximum camping now. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Baka just called out maximum camping. Let them go so to our position. Yeah, to come. A little less this round. The problem is that that tactic might not work out that well for Baka since the Jinrai have a three-point lead here with the five matches played so far. Remy asks if there's only two matches today. And yeah, there is. There's one at 9 o'clock GMT, I think. Uh, one target on the ground. And that team, I'll check up on that team. He's uh, uh, 20 meters east northwest. Everyone from the chat, of course, uh, recognizing the Baka play. Northwest. Max Camp yeah. 2 Pro. It's just tactical. Baka does what Baka and does best. One target is probably in. Since we're going to have a few slow seconds here. Oh, wait, we might have an engagement in the basement. Just stand in there. With Little Hoopty Face and Tata countering each other. Our level. Little Hoopty Face is now also chosen. 20 meters behind the wall. So I have word for, from the judges that the point they got just when uh, Hoopty Face was AFK does count. Right, that makes sense. The enemy team did not contest it, which is the critical point. If they contest it, they might get a different uh, decision from it, of course. But they didn't seem to mind it. Just stay and watch his hiding up there. So Bak is calling out targets, but not sending his team into the basement to engage. He is just making, the, making a camp at lower tarmac. The Jinrai seem, team seem to be content in just locking down all possible avenues for Jin, uh, NSF to approach them. Yes, forcing the NSF to do something. In the briefing room. If this round ties, of course, the uh, NSF are going to have fewer rounds to make something happen later. And one more target is uh, so in the spawn. Passively. 40 he's meters. He's playing passively. Far spawn. He's currently got the ghost calling out enemy positions to his team and has moved up to lower tarmac in his way to the base. He's, uh, just more than what there. can be said for Watch the Jinrai team captain soft as hell who still remains in the car park with Jin. Yeah, the captain soft as hell is probably using a mumble which is why we don't get any voice communication in the stream here. That's true. There's not a lot we can do about that of course it is allowed within the rules you don't have to use the crappy compression that the Half-Life voice uses. Area. Spectators cannot see what's going on during the match to watch out ghosting, watch uh, to Shoot. prevent ghosting rather. He's shooting at me. So Balka has not moved into the base. So another yeah. target to one uh, going to the. Red is in the oh. server room here, watching out on the tarmac. Uh, there we go. First high of the match. Second, well, I think. 
You it's no, it's no, never mind. It might be first. Did you take the ghost next turn? <laughs> no, it's round seven, so we have no we have only had one tie, my bad. I can't do math. For those in the chat wondering who we are, I'm Afro and with me is Nile are commentating this map. Mm. The judges we have are Rain and Producer San. Rain of course being the arranger of this tournament, head honcho, if you will. Yeah, the silent rain. The the winner of the tournament will get a one on one chat session with Rain <laughs> to find out what it actually sounds like. It's definitely a cap. I think we've all come to the conclusion now that Rain's certainly a cap. Okay, so here we go with an engagement straight away with Red firing onto the tarmac with the attention okay. to kill Soft as Hell, I think. There's one towards yeah, the he's mismatched in that fight. Soft as Hell has the M41, uh, perfectly Lots accurate, pretty powerful rifle with However, the first shot. Okay. Yeah, and the leather. The leather. Soft as Hell has yeah. taken damage from Red, who was actually the better shot in that situation. Soft as Hell yeah. spamming the M41 silenced, which is ill-advised because the spread on that weapon can be pretty high when fired quickly. We did, Tatha did get caught out, I mean Red did get caught out by Tatha though, who killed him, so the NSF are once again playing from a disadvantage here. Oh, Baka catching Jin. Shot from not sure from Go where. back. So this is a complete different Go play to back, the last please. round, yeah, quite aggressive. Back. Baka's moved yeah. into the hangar. Probably somebody behind us. Um, Baka probably realizes that he has to do something by now. Tatha's moved onto the roof and is flanking Baka from the fence. That is a powerful flanking position, unless a little hoopty face catches him out. Oh, they're just outside oh, the door there. That is oh, a brilliant grenade that's by Tom. Brilliant. But that might have given away his position as Baka turned around to engage him. Yeah, Baka's well, turned around and is watching the courtyard. Baka probably realized something was up when his teammate exploded. At this point, he's at the same advantage. He keeps finding himself in either in a one v three or a one v two, having to make something happen. Toth has fallen back to his team captain, soft as hell, probably with the intention to wait the rest of the round out as the numbers game is played. Yeah, Baka uh, probably aware of it. I'm lagging. He, he's complaining about lag here, of course. Our resident Russian having some internet troubles. Yeah, currently, there's a latency of ninety. He might be having some spiking though. He's just gonna have to suck it up. <laughs> soft, he might. He probably knows that Soft as Hell has an M41 and might not know that Soft as Hell doesn't really know how to use it, as he showed on the bridge there, because he rapidly fired the M41 where you have to time out the shots with about a second to get that perfect accuracy. I think it's an interesting choice to choose the M41 silenced over the standard M41. The advantage being of the silenced version is that while cloaked he'll still stay completely invisible and there we go and Jinwai win another round now they only need two well, one more victory I think and Jinwai closed this out going back to the M41 the standard M41 actually is more accurate fired at higher rates and um, does it do more damage? I think it does more damage it does more damage with headshots that I know oh yeah the M41 silence actually has no headshot bonus. There we go. Toth and Jin seem to be. Uh, no, never mind. Their their team leader showed up. I'm Little hoopty face is not visible in the game. Oh, there he goes. There he is. Jin and I have a heavy lead at the moment. Toth is rushing straight down to basement. Doubles back on himself. And he's pat down again. So one target it's interesting the that the Jinrai don't... One could imagine Jinrai playing a, an intense the game here the so to get a quick win. On the and the uh, last one is the, in the spawn. A weapon which trades the Zeta So we can come in from the basement now. Our side of the Yeah, South is still picking an interesting choice with the silence the mix. Most people consider the silence he's, CR uh, to be better. The beginning of the third. And uh, two other targets they side of the bridge. Jin possibly pushing up through the smoke He's on the bridge. Up there, they side. Shit. Probably support. Don't go there. 
a lots of people in the chat cheering for Baka here, we're wanting him to roof. turn it, this roof. around. Cheering for the underdog. Watch out, right side. <laughs> I'm not sure how much of it is yeah, tongue in cheek. The one outside of the bridge now. So someone's moved up onto the roof. Who's that? Soft as hell, he's moved up and got a kill on red. Yeah, the Genoa seem to be having the have this map in uh, iron grip. As it goes. Jim Chase is down, back up. Now leaving. Soft, and that's a triple Fuck. kill by Soft as Hell. A soft as Hell, I think, closing out this match here with the seven wins out of 13 rounds. It's not often we get to see Soft as Hell play. He doesn't play too often, but he is, like I said, a really strong player. Seems to be some trouble on Backer's team. Property not entirely communicating with the team. I'm not sure. Well, yeah, they seem to be having some lag issues and similar. Apparently, I'm wrong and the game isn't over yet. No, of course, it's not over yet. The score being 6 to 1 at the moment. There was a shot glanced off red then, with some blood on my side. At least the people on stream should be able to see that. Blood is in fact client side on Neo Tokyo, not a choice from the developers. So a hit doesn't necessarily always count. So, but now Red's moved up Skybridge and is. as gets a grenade! Two grenades, one on Backer and one on Soft as Hell, leaving teams with two apiece. Yes, for those just coming in, Genoa is leading 6 to 1 with one match having tied out. So if uh, the uh, NSF win all the matches, they get to a 6-6 six, six score and have to play a tiebreaker. Red gets a shot off on Jin, who is a recon. Ooh, Tatha destroying little Hoopty Face there. Hoopty Face missing with the shotgun. The server room with his tachi. Yeah, Tatha can just run this map and he wins it, should he decide to. I'm not sure what his team captain is advising through Mumble. Red and Totha right now. Both equally capable players, I'd say. Yeah. Totha a bit hurt. That would be about a bullet, where the CR. Which might be the deciding factor should they come through a fight. Red's just waiting in the corner with his tachi drawn. Yeah, not a good choice here from Red, I think. He knows that the enemy is around him. He might decide to do something aggressive later in the round. People in chat are cheering for Red here. Yeah. Hoping to not get a total close out of the game. Gotta say myself, a part of me is looking to see what Red can pull out of the bag in the last 40 seconds. And... Yeah, Red heard movement across the bridge there, I think. He knows where his enemy is. Oh, it's Tata going to drop down. He's on the roof now. Tatha doesn't seem to know where Red is, so if he decides to pass through the courtyard here, with only 20 seconds remaining, we might get an NSF win. Red staying perfectly still. Is Red going to just wait this game out? Does he realize the position he is in? Tatha playing defensively, which makes sense. Is this the final round? Is this a game point for Jinrai? If they yes, win? it would be. So that can explain why Red's playing so carefully, and there we have a tie. Yeah, the tie though, let's uh, unless the rules have changed, I'm completely off, means that Jinrai win this. I'm not gonna check with the refs and see if I know this right. Well... Yes, producer of course here being our referee, what do you say? Yeah. In this case, now that it's tied out, they can't turn it around anymore as we still play 13 rounds, including ties. So the advantage is too big to actually catch up. This match goes to Jinrai. Yes. So it's not first to seven. It is uh, best out of 13 with ties exactly. counting to the limit here. With two ga games being tied out and Jinrai having a lead by five points, that means that the NSF cannot close it out. Baka's team go to the losers bracket. 
and Soft as Hell's team go on to the next match. With this, I'm also here to inform you that the next match will be happening in one and a half hours from now. Well, about. That would make it at uh, 9 GMT plus 0? Apparently so, yes. Man, I'm so hungry. I can go get something to eat now. But that <laughs> I'll was get back to you, though. Interesting match. Jim are playing really well, especially soft as hell. Yeah. Barkus team seemed a bit uncoordinated. They didn't seem to realize what they had to do in order to win this map. Being aggressive at kind of weird times and being defensive at other weird times. I... People in chat wanting to see a butt hurt Baka here. He might not be satisfied with the results of this game. Well, he did shoot little hoopty in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Classic team killing. Classic Baka. Baka. Well, we the rest can say that we were actually pretty surprised how packed basement was during yeah. this match. Me and Afra certainly said the same as well. In no, 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 no. Snyder said the same. I knew it, of course. I am the tactical accommodator here. <laughs> <laughs> right. But, um, it is a supremely defensible position, but yeah, yeah, it's been an interesting game to see how they pulled this out. It doesn't normally get played at the basement in regular play, but it is a defensive position. Of course, yeah. you've seen some of the practice matches with 3v3s, haven't you, Afra? So. You'll yes. Get an inkling to how these play out. Yes, definitely. Uh, we haven't had any on here though, so this is the first match, at least that I see, on Tarmac. For those who know, I always want the traffic. I've made a map of Tarmac, which is visible on my profile. Should you want to see what the different areas are called, you didn't hear them called out here during the game, but they might be worth knowing. Do we know what the next map is going to be and what the next match is going to be? The one oh, at yeah, 9 GMT plus 0. Oh, the next match. So For those of you wanting... Is match right. D with team captains... One sec. Uh, team captains Forcefed and Fragboy. And Forcefed's teammates are Stados and Dr. Michaelopoulos. And Fragboy's teammates are Baby Cakes and Misty Lorelei. Oh, sorry. No. And what map will that be on? Uh, uh, Incoming from our spawn. Rise. So in the same day we've had two very popular maps, Rise and Tarmac. Not surprising that they pull out their favorite maps the first round here. Just wait the way the, the map... surface to be the next one. 